Hello, Explorers. Welcome back. So we are going to do the Princess Birthday binder. And I have decided to start coming with a lot less for this binder. Um, I overestimated or I underestimated how much time I truly have until her birthday. And based off how much I need for her birthday, approximately, um, yeah, I was putting away way too much each week. Um, so I have dropped it from 200 down to a hundred and even doing a hundred, if we were to do this up until her birthday, we are going to have still have way more than we need. So this binder will actually be completed probably at least a month before her birthday, if not two months before her birthday. Um, so yeah, the way I was doing it, I was going to have it done in like by next month. <laughs> And I don't want to do that. So, we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 91, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. And doing it this way, this now will allow me, um... Once I get this, not allow me, but once I get this one done, then I will start on Wrigley's birthday. Actually, I'll need to start on my husband's birthday and then I can start on Wrigley's. I didn't think I needed dice. So I didn't pull them down. I need to just start pulling dice down regardless because I always end up needing them. Okay. So we'll do the pink and black for the top and the other one for the bottom. So six and three. And this is from Save with Sydney Bear. Let me move this out of the way so you guys can see everything. So six is Rapunzel. And three is Mulan. So let's do... We'll do a ten and... We'll do a ten and a, two, and a one. Since we're doing the highest one up here and we're coming with less money... So I don't want to run out of money. So we're going to put $11 in there. We're still doing the highest one up here. But we're going to do the lowest one on the bottom. Granted, I've already done the highest one on the bottom, so... Putting eleven dollars into Princess Mashup. If you're new here, this binder is to save for my daughter's birthday staycation trip. I can't really talk about what it is that we're doing right now because she is awake and she's near me. But you can go back and watch other videos where I have talked about it. Okay, so in this one, this challenge brings in 320, 40, 60, 80, 105. And her birthday is not until April, so there's like 27 weeks before her birthday. That's why I said, oh, we've got a lot of time. All right, so this one is from Lemon Ivy, and it is to pay for this dinner and we are putting eleven dollars in here as well I thought this little like teacup was fitting for that dinner okay so I'm going to put back these two fives, take 21. So we have 24 in here. And this one brings in 80. Okay. This one is from Champagne's Corner, Corner and it is to pay for this experience for both kids. Sixteen. All right, maybe a hundred dollars. Probably won't get through the binder. 
Not with these numbers. That's okay. I'm going to put back 4 and take 20. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 51 dollars. And this one brings in 75. So those last two numbers are decently big. This one is from Steps on a Budget. And this is to pay for the same thing. Because it is going to be pricey. Let's do this one. $5 and this one brings in 60 I have done this challenge before in my Disney fund um, but I wanted to do it in this one so I put new stickers over it so $5 um, we'll just take a five because I have tons of ones so now in here we have 10, 20, 30, 5, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. And this one brings in 60. I'm going to skip Disney cards for right now because I want to make it through. And we can always come back to them. This might be a really short video, you guys. Oh, 13. This one is also from Lemon Ivy. So 10, 11, 11, 12, 13. I did not put um, a lot of challenges in here to do at one time because I wanted to be able to complete the challenges rather quickly. Since there is a long time until her birthday, I want this money to be sitting in a high yield for as long as possible. So we have 10, 20, 30, 5, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So 42 and this one brings in 100. Um, so that is why there's not a ton of different challenges in here. Let's go ahead and go back to this one. This is Disney cards. I'm not, I haven't printed a tracker for it. I don't know if I'm going to. I've done the tracker before. Let's just pull one for right now. Six dollars. Set these off to the side. Because we can always do more. So we're going to put six into here. But you know what? Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. So in Disney cards, we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83. Okay, $83. All right, let's see what else we can do. What do we have left? We have 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So $39 left. Let's go ahead and finish. I think we can finish this one. Let's finish this one because then we can get this in the high yield um, because once there's enough in the high yield, even though this one says that it's for, you know, that specifically, that's just for me for budgeting purposes. Um, as soon as we have 200 in the high yield, then I can go ahead and book the room. I can put the deposit down on the room. Um, and then I will not make payments on it. You, so you can put a deposit down on the room and then you can make payments up until the point of the trip. Up until, I think it's like 30 days prior. I am not going to do that. And the reason being, I'd rather just have that money sitting in the high yield and then just pay it off the very last minute. So that at least it's earning uh, interest because we don't have, her birthday's not until April. If I were to start making payments now... That's months that that money could be sitting in a high yield earning interest rather than sitting with, you know, the hotel, not earning interest or gaining me anything. So I'm going to put this back and take 5, 10, 15, 20, I believe. Let's check. 
10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so this one is done. I am going to switch this out because I'm almost out of fives in the money that I need for cash stuffing. Actually, let's do 50, 70, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We're going to do it like that because, like I said, I'm almost out of fives, so I need those fives to cash stuff with. I went to the bank, but I pulled out 10s and 20s because I had so many 5s and I was out of 10s and 20s. And so obviously now I have a bunch of 10s and 20s and I'm almost out of 5s. And I have plenty of 1s. So this will go into completed challenges and at the end of the month this will get put into her birthday high yield. Like I said, once we hit 200 in that high yield, I will put the deposit down. The reason that I put the deposit down um, still instead of waiting is because once I have that deposit down, I know that I've locked in that rate and I have up until I pay off the hotel to get like if any, cause there's going to be promos before then, obviously I want to lock in the rate for what it is right now, even though it's not super low right now, but at least I have it locked in in case it were to go up. But ev what I will do is every Whenever I think about it, usually at least once a week, I'm on the website looking. Um, but every week I will look and see if there's any kind of promo for those dates. And if there is, then I'll go in and I will, um, I will basically add that new promo on there, which will drop my rate. And now that will be my locked in rate. But you can't do that unless you have a deposit down. Um, and the deposit is fully refundable up to 30 days prior to your trip. So now this one is done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this to the back and put a new challenge in there. Let's do, that one was from Champagne's Corner. Let's see if we have another one from Champagne's Corner. We do, we have tons. Let's do, let's do this one. We'll do this one from her. Um... I need to write everything down, but we'll do this one for, actually, let me see. Do we have a certain, yes, this is the one I need. So we're going to put this one because obviously this is where we're staying. And so that's where I need to put the deposit down. So we'll put that in there next. We'll start working on that one. All right, we still have money left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 dollars left. Let's do... Let's pull some more cards, because if I can get the cards up to 100, then I will probably pull the 100 and put it in the high yield and put in prop money. So let's pull cards. $10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have five left. And I'm going to cheat and just go in here and pull a five. So that we have the five done. Because I really want the full hundred to go into her birthday. Instead of putting it in my catch-all. All right, so what do we have in here now? We have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75, 76, 7, 8, 9, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So $98. So next time this will definitely hit 100. I just needed to hit 100 before the uh, end of the month because that's when I will pull. That was pretty short and sweet, but that's all that I have for you guys today. So I will see you back here later for an RV cash stuffing. So until next time, bye.